My wife's a good fisherman. Now, I do a lot of saltwater fishing, offshore fishing. My wife's a good freshwater fisherman. She can bait on the hook, take fish off, cast out, do it all. Because she grew up in South Jersey on a farm. My grandbabies are useless. So now I have six granddaughters now. The three youngest ones are, let's see, the one was born October 12th, and the twins were born October 19th. The other three are nine, seven, and two. The nine and seven are just, I'm not taking favors, but they're close, and I've seen them grow up, and they look just like them blonde-headed, blue-eyed, most destructive children God ever put on the planet. <laughs> I hope yours aren't like that, sir. Mine, I'm telling you, my grandbabies could break an amble with a Q-tip. <laughs> That nine-year-old would break a three-foot crowbar. I gave her a crowbar the other day to play with. She broke the crow foot off. How'd you break a crowbar? <laughs> my dad wanted to it, Papa. <laughs> they wanted to go fishing. So I decided to take a fish. Wow, I'm going to hurt it. So, we got, so I decided to take a fish. We go down to the pond. I got a 10-acre pond, 12 shaggy-headed red Angus cows down there. Now, the two wanted to go fishing. I go to my barn. I go, there's 39 rods. Pick one. We don't want one, Papa. We want our own fishing rod. We want one like my mom's got. My wife has her own fishing rod and nobody gets to use but her. And she can cast, man. She's got this weird sideways casting action. It's like swinging a bat. And she can throw it a country mile. And I go, pick one. Just pick one. No, we want our own. So I'm at Walmart buying a mutant ninja turtle fishing rod. <laughs> but the little one, no, she didn't want a mutant ninja turtle because they got those. She had to have a frozen fishing rod. I know what I'm talking about, Frozen. Have you seen that movie 900 times like me, sir? You know the one, let it go, let it go. Yeah, yeah. And she didn't want to have the dark-haired chick that's good-looking, you know, that's nice. No, she wanted that blonde-headed evil one. What's her name? Elsa. Elsa. Yeah, Elsa. Gotta have an Elsa fishing rod. You can't even find that on Amazon. <laughs> so I got them two fishing rods. We go down to the pond. We're fishing back in the fall. We go down to the pasture. We're fishing in the pond. And they're catching more fish in a shrimp trawl. Pile them up on the bank. And my wife's catching, releasing, throwing them back in, and the cows come up to us. Like I say, cows are curious animals. You guys know that if you deal with cattle. Cows are curious animals. We see us at the pond, they come down to investigate. And this great big 1,200 pound red Angus gets right tight behind my wife and starts sniffing. And she doesn't know. And she swings back to cast out, and the cow says, and I'm waiting for this cow to go. My wife's gonna jump in the pond, I will wet my pants laughing. <laughs> my wife swung back to cast out and caught that cow in his cheek right there with broke back rubber. Cow takes off running. <laughs> <laughs> Swings my right wife around. She's got the rod tip. She's what do I do? <laughs> Shut your heart, baby! <laughs> Dig your heels in, keep your rod tip up. Play them, honey, play them. Dig your heels in, dig your heels in. Set your drag, set your drag, set your drag. You guys laughed, my wife landed a 1,200 pound <laughs> on an eight pound test line. We hold a state record in North Carolina for Red Angus on eight pound test line. That is a true story, by the way. I am not smart enough to make this up. My wife, not looking, caught one of my cows in his cheek. No joke. Now this, I'm going to give you a quick example of how a, how a, a um, joke is written. Now, my wife hooked that cow in his cheek, and it took off bucking and running. Swung her around, and before she could say, why do I? It jerked a brand new Zep Code 33 out of her hand and broke it into about 97 pieces running across the pasture. Because I buy the very best Walmart has on sale. <laughs> the next day I got this cow caught in the head gate, got it in my preferred head, you know, head gate, got it shut in there, and I'm trying to cut these hooks out the side of this cow's face, get this gravel off his face, because it done broke all the line. Walking around shaking his head, this one. <laughs> I'm cutting the hooks out, but in my mind, I can just see my wife going, <laughs> and that's how you write a joke. <laughs>